Broadcast interruptions are rare events. When something happens that is totally unexpected, maybe someone hijacks a TV channel and starts sending their own signal, or maybe some secret footage that was never meant to be shown is shown to like millions of people. It sounds crazy, but it does happen from time to time, and these are the best examples of all time, in my opinion, obviously. My name is Danny Burke, and this is the Top 10 Scary Broadcast Interruptions. Just before we get into that, I want to let you guys know about our brand new channel, Beyond the Screen. It's a channel about all things TV and Hollywood, presented by one of our new hosts, Jocelyn. She's great, the channel is great, I guarantee you guys there is something for everyone there. It would mean the world to us if you guys go and check it out and subscribe right after this video. There's a link somewhere on the screen right now and definitely down below in the description box. Starting off at number 10 now, we have the Wyoming incident. According to internet legend, this was a broadcast hack that happened in 2008, affecting a number of communities in the town of Niobrara in Wyoming. Their regular news show was interrupted with this. Preparation for the 2008 general election. Republican President <laughs> Jackson. Over the next six minutes or so, viewers were shown text messages and strange visuals with audio snippets playing over them. Every 10 to 15 seconds, a message would appear announcing that this was a special presentation. The text would say things like, you will see such pretty things, and you are ill, we just want to fix you, and what hides in your mind? Now that last question was later answered with the chilling message of, we have already seen it. What was even stranger was that people reported having a physical reaction to the footage. This included vomiting, hallucinations, and headaches. Others said that the frequencies played made viewers' eyeballs vibrate and create visual hallucinations. I'm glad we didn't show the whole clip then. Next up at number 9 now, we have Max Headroom. Now this is perhaps the most famous one on the list, maybe some of you guys have seen it. On the evening of November 22nd, 1987, many people were enjoying an episode of Doctor Who on Chicago WTTW Channel 11. For those Who fans out there, the episode was Horror of Fang Rock. Anyway, the broadcast was interrupted by a signal intrusion. Suddenly, viewers saw an unknown person wearing a Max Headroom mask and sunglasses. Max Headroom was a TV character from a show in the mid 80s. The imposter hijacked the broadcast for 90 seconds in which he rambled about Coca-Cola, the TV series Clutch Cargo and WGN anchor Chuck Swirsky. To be honest, even with subtitles, it's quite difficult to make out what's being said. At the time, an FCC engineer said that the perpetrators would face a maximum $10,000 fine, up to a year in prison, or both. It's been over 30 years since the event though, and the culprits have never been caught. Coming in at the number 8 spot now, we have Vrillon. This is a strange one from 1977. During a regular news show on Southern Television, there was a broadcast interruption just after 5pm on November 27th. After some static and visual warping, a voice made this announcement. This is the voice of Vrillon, representative of the Ashton Galactic speaking to you. That person, calling themselves Vrillon, claimed to be an alien commander from an intergalactic association. The disembodied voice spoke for about six minutes. The main message was a warning to all humans to put down our weapons of war and to enter a new age of Aquarius. Then, and only then, would we make it to the next level of evolution. Return. Moving on to number 7 now, we have Playboy. I'm sure I don't need to explain to you guys what Playboy is, and if I do, I probably shouldn't. Needless to say, its late night TV shows have been very popular for many, many years. It's one of those channels where you wouldn't expect to see much uh, religious talk, shall we say. However, that's exactly what you would have seen if you tuned into the channel on September 6, 1987. Someone interrupted the broadcast that night and displayed a quote from the Bible. I wonder how that went down with the Playboy viewers. The Bible verses were taken from Exodus and Matthew and read, Thus saith the Lord thy God, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The white text and black background appeared during a movie that Playboy had on called 
three daughters and a number of viewers phoned in to ask what was going on. Police were able to trace the signal though and three years later a man called Thomas Haney was identified as the culprit. Next about number 6 now we have the nuke. Ok for this one I want you guys to do a bit of a imagining now. I want you to imagine you're just chilling at home, just watching a channel that's showing beautiful scenery, live, it's playing relaxing music, that sort of thing. And then you see this. Yeah, that looked a lot like a nuke. And people in Czechoslovakia thought so too when this appeared on a TV show called Panorama in June 2007. The show usually just showed scenic footage of the Czech countryside to attract tourists to Prague and the surrounding area. When the camera appeared to show a nuclear bomb exploding during its morning broadcast, all hell broke loose. Some people who lived in the area started trying to leave before the radiation spread. Others were contacting the government asking what to do. The government received so many panic calls that they had to issue an official statement confirming that Prague had not been bombed. It turns out that the footage was created as a performance piece by a group called Zethoven. I'm sure their artistic message is appreciated by some people out there, but maybe not the ones who thought they were actually having to flee for their lives. Coming in at the number 5 spot now guys we have the old couple. This is a really strange one that occurred in July 2007 during regular broadcasting on ABC's affiliate channel channel WJLA, this image appeared on the screen. Now, To this day nobody is exactly sure what this picture is of. Clearly it's two faces, one of them is smiling and one of them looks quite concerned. The faces look like they've been computer generated. Now to me it looks like something out of a 90s video game. This creepy image stayed on the screen for several seconds with no sound before completely vanishing. Many people said there was a dark meaning to all of this, that this was no ordinary interruption. The cable company in charge of the broadcast said there was a programming mix up from an advertisement for the Oprah Winfrey show. That seemed to satisfy find most people but things took a turn when videos of the event were all removed from YouTube due to restricted access. To this day I still couldn't find any clips of this on YouTube. All that has survived is this image and the questions that come with it. Coming at number 4 now we have War of the Worlds. Have you guys ever seen the War of the Worlds movie with Tom Cruise? I really like that movie, I'm not going to lie. But did you know where the title for that movie came from? In 1938 future filmmaking legend Orson Welles created a radio drama based on HG Wells novel The War of the Worlds. It was made to sound like a genuine news broadcast about aliens from Mars invading Earth. If you guys were to hear it on the radio today you might think oh this is obviously a piece of written drama. It's not real. Well back in 1938 on the eve of World War 2 it was a very different time. Many people listening to the broadcast missed the introduction where it clearly states that the following is a piece of radio drama and they thought it was totally real. This is what they heard. About 20 yards to my right. Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, we are unable to continue the broadcast from Grover's Mill. Now, according to legend, some people were so convinced that America was being invaded by Martians that they fled their homes in a panic. In the following days, there was an outcry for broadcasters to be regulated to stop this thing kind of happening ever again. That failed and the piece went down in history as one of the most famous pieces of radio drama ever and possibly one of the greatest pranks of all time. Next up at number 3 now we have Handy Manny. Some of our North American viewers may have grown up watching this kid show. The animated TV series follows Manny, a repairman with talking tools. It's fun, it's educational, they sing, you get the idea. Handy Manny is also famous though for a shocking broadcast interruption which occurred on May 1st 2007. Viewers of the show in Lynn Croft, New Jersey had their episode interrupted by a clip from an adult movie. Yeah, say no more. Many of the other interruptions we've talked about usually last for 10, 15, 30 seconds. The adult film clip on Handy Manny went on for several minutes. Naturally, people wanted an explanation. Thousands of kids must have seen this. Comcast was the network that was responsible for the intrusion, or at least they should have been the ones to stop it from happening. They didn't have an answer for why it happened, and over a decade on now, they still don't. Moving on to number two now, we have Mayday. On January 3rd, 2007, Channel 7 in Australia. 
Australia was airing a Canadian documentary called Mayday, which features cases of air disasters. At some point during the broadcast, things got strange. The visuals continued as normal, but the audio started repeating a single phrase on a loop. One quick thinking YouTuber uploaded this video of the event. Many people think that the voice is that of a man from America's deep south saying the phrase, Jesus Christ, help us all, Lord. See what you think. That went on for an astonishing 6 minutes before everything returned to normal. Many people wanted answers, but Channel 7 were very evasive. They denied that there had been an intrusion, but also disputed what the clip was actually saying. They claimed the voice said, Jesus Christ, one of the Nazarenes. The fact that so many people disagree with that has only added fuel to the fire that something very strange happened that day. And finally number 1 now we have Coast to Coast AM. That's the name of this talk show run by Art Bell. He was used to strange calls on his show, but things got even stranger on September 12th, 1997. That night, Art got a call from a guy who claimed to have been an employee at the mysterious Area 51 base, where conspiracy theorists say the US Air Force contained and studied aliens and their crashed spacecraft. The caller sounded terrified and claimed that they were coming for him and that he didn't have much time to share with the world what he knew about Area 51. He talked about extra dimensional beings who are not what they appear to be, that they have infiltrated the US military and are now taking over. Okay, well, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra dimensional beings. The caller began to sound more erratic and panicked. Finally, he started talking about how governments are trying to get human populations down to a manageable number so that they're easier to control. Just after this, the line went dead when the power cut out at the station. By the time they got the backup generators running, the caller was gone. Conspiracy theorists say that it was more than a coincidence that the caller was cut off and never heard from again just when he began to spill the beans on secret government activity. What do you guys think? Alright guys, there you go. Some scary broadcast interruptions. Hopefully this video wasn't interrupted by something strange for you, otherwise you're probably freaking out a lot right about now. Don't forget to go and check out Beyond the Screen using the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching. As always, my name is Danny Burke and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.